Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Emily Ogles, Director of Communications and External Affairs at the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity. I appreciate all of you joining us today for the Low Income Household Water Assistance Program introductory webinar. Um, we have a few housekeeping items. If you guys would make sure your lines are good at all times and your video remains off, that would be really helpful for recording. We are going to out a recording of this webinar to all of you that signed up for the presentation and we'll also post it on our website. Um, we are actually going to take questions. Um, you are welcome to submit your questions in the chat feature in the Teams app and also um, we will get to those and we'll, we'll respond with an email um, answering your question. Also you can email LIHWAP, L-I-H-W-A-P at deo.myflorida.com if you have any questions as well. So for the agenda today, I'm going to go through introductions and who join, is joining us from DEO's team, what is LIWAP, what the roles and responsibilities are, program benefits, agreements, next steps, and questions and suggestions for success. So today I have with me Secretary Dane Eagle, I also have Deputy Secretary of Community Development, Ben Melnick at the end. Debbie Smiley, she is the Chief of the Bureau of Economic Self-Sufficiency. Now I'm going to turn it over to Secretary Dane Eagle to get us started. Thank you, Emily. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, before I get started, I want to thank everyone here at DEM for their effort in getting this stood up. Specifically on my left, Ben Melnick, Deputy Secretary of Community Development. Uh, he and his team are overseeing the program. On my right, Debbie Smiley, uh, Bureau Chief of Self-Sufficiency. She and her team will be managing the program. And Emily Oglesby, who just spoke, and her communications team are doing an excellent job helping to coordinate the outreach on this and hence uh, having this uh, webinar here today. So thank you all again for joining uh, and, um, and, and helping us uh, get the word out on this. Uh, whether you're representing your water or wastewater company, the action agency, we appreciate your time to help us get the word out uh, on behalf of all Floridians. Uh, we had previously worked with the providers, community action agencies, um, through the community service block grants and the low income home energy assistance program known as LIHEAP and the weatherization assistance programs. We look forward to the partnership as we stand up and implement the low income household water assistance program known as LIWAP. It's government, so of course we have fancy acronyms, but LIWAP and LIHEAP are two very Program, so uh, we look forward to getting uh, uh, out the uh, details on uh, LIWAP today. Next slide, please. There we are. What is LIWAP? Uh, so the Low Income Household Water Assistance Program is administered by Health and Human Services and will support income qualified families who are facing financial hardship in Florida with water and wastewater costs. We can offer recipients up to $1,000 per recipient, uh, which uh, the, live, the live WAP provider will pay directly to the water vendor. Uh, and we do this to ensure that households water services are not interrupted. Next slide, please. So the goals and priorities of the program uh, to uh, administer and stand up IWAP program, we will be prioritizing low income Floridians by reconnecting water services that have been disconnected due to non-payment, disconnection, and by reducing current household water bills for those who spend a high proportion of their household income on water utility needs. Next slide, please. So this program is incredibly important for across the state, and we need your help to ensure that they have access to these vital resources and financial relief. So we appreciate your involvement in this program, uh, and it is essential Success. Uh, we look forward to working with all of the teams on this initiative. And for further details, I'd like to introduce Ben Milnick, Deputy Secretary of uh, Community Development, as well as Debbie Smiley. Thank you, Secretary. Um, as said, I am Ben Milnick. Uh, thank you for the warm welcome, uh, Mr. Secretary, and thank you for the leadership as we launch LIWAP. Uh, it is an exciting time for um, the Division of Community Development. Um, and for uh, Chief Smiley's uh, uh, Bureau. I want to also um, just reiterate um, the Secretary's thanks of, of folks. Um, it's been uh, um, 
it's been a lot of work uh, coordinating all these things together. We appreciate everybody um, and their support and their, their opportunities um, putting things together uh, and getting this out the door. So um, the uh, getting into a little bit more information specifically about uh, um, the uh, administering the funds of LIWAP, uh, DEO will administer $75 million um, through September 2023 to assist eligible households with drinking water as well as wastewater costs. Um, LIWAP has similar administration and processes to low income, to the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, um, otherwise known as LIHEAP, uh, that the Secretary mentioned. Um, and community action agencies will submit monthly requests for reimbursement uh, to DEO once they have obligated the funds to water vendors uh, on behalf of recipients of the funding. Um, for the income eligibility thresholds, you can see here uh, detailed on the screen, um, those thresholds are based on 6% of the state median income and the size of the household itself. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about the benefits of the program for Floridians who are eligible. To uh, LIWAP recipients will receive uh, access to clean drinking water and wastewater services that are vital to health, um, coordinated support services, which may prevent participants from becoming long-term recipients of benefits. Um, and this includes other assistance programs such as SNAP, TANF, TANF um, or other similar programs. And this program allows for immediate and easy access to funding for those who need basic essential items. Um, the program can relieve stress or a burden on families that have gone too long without basic human needs um, that are critical for both health and well-being. The benefits um, for LIWAP providers and water vendors. Um, this program can help support LIWAP providers' mission to benefit their communities, enhance the health and safety of those they support, as well as maximizing available assistance to community members. Uh, this program can help water vendors recoup lost payments and support the environment through the provision of clean water services and increased availability of wastewater services to citizens. Um, now, I'll turn it over to my talented colleague, Debbie Smiley, who will share more uh, information and details about the responsibilities of each partner. Um, next steps, of course. Thank you, Deputy Secretary Melnick. We will now transition into highlighting the roles and responsibility of, responsibilities of the key part participants, the LIWAC providers, the water vendors, and DEO. Next slide, please. Key participants. The LIWAP program functions through the cohesive efforts of the following key participants, who each play an important role to the success of this program. First, we have our LIWAP providers. You are the 30 nonprofit organizations and local governments who are already providing support to your respective communities through the low income home energy assistance program also known as LAHIP. The support from LAHIP providers makes you the ideal program partner to help Florida households become aware of and access LIWAP information. Second, the water vendors include both the water and wastewater vendors across Florida's 67 counties and over 400 municipalities. Water vendor participation in LIWAP can help their customers who lost connection to water services to reconnect or bring their water bills current. Lastly, DEO is Florida's Economic Development Agency and was designated by HHS to serve as the LIWAP grantee. DEO is also responsible for implementing LIWAP. Together, we are eager and excited to support our communities to regain and retain access to clean drinking water and wastewater services. Next slide. Roles and responsibilities of LIWAP providers. The role of LIWAP providers will be to serve as an intermediary between the income qualified applicants and the water vendors. The responsibilities are as follows. First, they will establish the vendor agreements with the local water vendors. 
They will manage the intake of applications and the process of determining eligibility of the applicants. LIWAP providers will monitor, fiscally track, and keep clear records of each payment made on behalf of households. Upon receiving the local outreach plan and strategies provided um, by DEO, LIWAP providers will follow and execute them to engage the community with this program. It will also be necessary for the LIWAP providers to coordinate with other local assistance programs, including, but not limited to, TANF, SNAP, SSI, and LAHIP. LIWAP providers will engage with community-based organizations to communicate with potential applicants, participate in community events. Last but not least, it is important to note that LIWAP providers must respond to applications within 15 days and to reimburse water vendors for approved applications within 45 days. Next slide. Roles and responsibilities of water vendors. The role of the water vendors will be to coordinate with the LIWAP providers in their efforts of promoting awareness, restoring utility service, and processing payments in a timely manner. Water vendors are encouraged to help with the following. Support your local LIWAP providers in identifying potential clients in need of the LIWAP benefits and promoting awareness of program benefits. Restore water services in a timely manner upon receipt of payment from LIWAP providers. Furnish LIWAP providers the data needed to illustrate the households that are eligible for LIWAP and the households whose accounts have been funded through LIWAP. If eligible, process payments on water accounts accurately and timely. Additionally, water vendors are responsible for ensuring the restoration of water services for life-threatening circumstances within 18 hours or otherwise within 48 hours. Next slide. Roles and responsibilities of DEO. Finally, the role of DEO is to provide management and monitoring support for the outreach and implementation of LIWAP. The, the responsibilities of DEO are as follows. We will establish agreements with LIWAP providers for their previously stated roles and responsibilities. DEO will be responsible for managing the fiscal aspects, such as allocating funds to sub-recipients. DEO developed a statewide outreach plan and will implement the outreach activities for the purpose of increasing awareness and utilization of LIWAP. DEO will provide tools to support LIWAP providers and water vendors with their outreach efforts. Lastly, DEO will provide direct outreach and training to participants. Next slide. We will now transition to the agreements portion for LIWAP. Agreements will be established between DEO and the LIWAP providers, as well as the agreements between LIWAP providers and the water vendors. The agreement, also known as the umbrella agreement between DEO and the LIWAP providers is very similar to the LAHIB agreement. LIWAP providers will be responsible for carrying out the mutually agreed upon directives in the umbrella agreement.
For all agreements between LIWAP providers and water vendors, it is the responsibility of the LIWAP providers to negotiate and maintain written agreements with water vendors. To support the process, DEO will provide a sample vendor agreement to the LIWAP providers, which can be reviewed and adapted by their own legal counsel. When in the process of developing the vendor agreements, the LIWAP providers should prioritize the execution efforts based on or based from counties with higher percentages, percentages of income qualified household families, which is determined by countywide state median income. Additionally, the LIWAP providers should prioritize vendors serving the largest number of households. Though it is important to prioritize the previously stated vendors, the goal is to execute an agreement with all participating vendors. Next slide. We will now transition into reviewing next steps for all parties involved. Following this webinar, the DEO will execute an agreement with LIWAP providers. The LIWAP providers will then execute an agreement with water vendors. DEO will be providing a second webinar to discuss the application process and eligibility for LIWAP. Once the agreements are executed, the LIWAP providers will post the application and open the application window. DEO will also be hosting further workshops as well as outreach strategies. To support these efforts, DEO will provide outreach toolkits to our LIWAP providers and water vendors. And finally, the process of the LIWAP providers and water vendors executing the outreach strategies will then commence. Questions posted in the chat window will be answered through email after the webinar. Additional questions can also be emailed to liwap at deo.myflorida.com. Thank you all for joining us today. We will follow up and provide this webinar to all of you that joined. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email the team. I provided the email address in the top of the chat feature so that you guys have it. Um, again, thank you all for joining us today, and we will touch base with additional information soon. Have a great day.